everyone, welcome back to Read a Roo Kids. My name is Miss Christy, and today we're going to read the book Scaredy Cat Splat. Let's find out what kind of trouble this little cat gets into. Scaredy Cat Splat by Rob Scotton. Mom, cried Splat, there's a scary spider on my jack o' lantern. He's small and hairy with really funny eyes. Splat's voice wobbled with worry. But you're small and hairy with really funny eyes, said his mom. Splat thought for a moment. But I haven't got eight legs, he replied. If you had, maybe you'd be a scary spider too, teased his mom. Splat made a scary spider face. Splat's mom caught the spider under a glass jar. Splat looked closely at the spider. It didn't look so scary now that it was trapped. Can I take the spider to school for Halloween? asked Splat. We've all made jack-o'-lanterns and everyone is dressing up in costumes. And Mrs. Wimpy Dimple is going to tell a ghost story and there's a prize for the scariest cat, and I want to be the scariest cat. So please, can I take the spider to school? Please? He asked without taking a breath. Okay, said his mom. Where's your Halloween costume? Asked his mom. Splat pulled a broom from the closet and sat astride it. Aha, look at me, I'm a scary witch's cat cried Splat, racing around the kitchen. You certainly are scary, said his mom. Then disaster struck. Splat tripped over his tail and with a crack, the broom handle snapped in two. His scary witch's cat costume was ruined. Now I've got nothing to wear, Splat groaned. Even Seymour couldn't console him. Splat's mom had an idea. She stuffed some old socks with scrunched up newspaper and tied them to Splat with string. There, she said. Splat looked in the mirror and jumped back with a squeal. Ah, I scared myself, he said. He looked again and this time he smiled. Look at me! he cried, waving his sock legs. I'm a big, scary sock spider. Splat placed his jack-o'-lantern and spider on his wagon and set off to school. On the way, he met Spike, dressed as a mummy, and Plank, dressed as a skeleton. They're pretty scary, said Splat. Seymour nodded and trembled a little. But I'm scarier, said Splat. Splat made his scariest spider face and growled. Grrrr. Spike and Plank didn't even blink. Instead... Boo! cried Spike. Boo! cried Plank. Splat yelped and jumped high in the air and landed in a heap. Ah, oh, Splat sighed. Spike and Plank are both scarier than me. Seymour nodded and trembled a little bit more. I'll never win the prize for scariest cat, said Splat. The sock spider, the skeleton, and the mummy continued on their way to school. In class, everyone showed their jack-o'-lanterns. Splat's jack-o'-lantern made everyone laugh. Ugh, Splat sighed. I'll never win the prize for scariest cat. Seymour shook his head. Everyone placed flashlights in their jack-o'-lanterns and Mrs. Wimpy Dimple turned down the lights and whispered in her best ghost story voice. In the dark, dark wood, there's a dark, dark house. In the dark, dark house, there's a dark, dark room. 
in the dark, dark room, there's a dark, dark box. And in the dark, dark box, there's a ghost. Mrs. Wimpy Dimple cried. The class jumped with fright. Splat was so startled, his tail whipped around and sent his jack-o'-lantern spinning through the air. And what goes up must come down. Splat! Unable to see anything, Splat stumbled around the classroom. Ooh! Ooh! Everyone shrieked as the pumpkin head glared at them and made strange woo-hooing noises. Mrs. Wimpy Dimple turned on the lights and lifted up the wayward jack-o'-lantern. The shrieking turned to laughter as Splat fell out. Calm down, calm down, hushed Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. Now, class, who should win the prize for being the scariest cat? Splat, they all cheered. I loved reading with you today. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up below. If you want to see all of the books we read in the future, make sure to click the subscribe button. We have activities to go along with all the books we read. To access them, all you have to do is click the Readeroo Kids link below in the description, or you can just head over to our website. There we do games, puzzles, and even some science experiments. If you'd like to get free activities, you can follow us on all of our social media. I loved reading with you today, and I hope that we can read together again soon. Until then, Readeroo loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.